trying to give your team 100 percent at the same time you're not sure if you're going to be back with them next year so tough thing to balance as rick is getting a little bit of momentum here i think that is one of the keys you want to try to get a lot of forward movement you don't want to try and slow down especially in a in an obstacle like the the ladders there that just complete what you need up in your biceps and your triceps to try to push yourself forward there. And not only that, it's one of the most difficult parts and it's pretty late in the course. Oh, you know these yeah. guys are running out of gas when they get to it. And you can see him there just shaking out his hands, just yeah. absolutely exhausted. Yeah. And you know, in the back of their heads, all they want to do is finish because the, the right. personal and self-pride just to finish. And of course, ex-veterans, they're going to have a lot of self-pride for themselves too. They're pushing hard. And it's good to see him get out of the ladders, but unfortunately he's still not done yet. He still has a, a little bit longer of a way to go, but I'm sure that the, uh, the teeter-totter there and the steps are a lot easier than the ladder back here. For sure. Rick gets through there, still just shaking those hands, uh, completely exhausted. He's going to have something similar to the 2 by 4s here, but I believe those are just about half of that. And he's going to go through the carpet now and come through sand, mulch, and gravel. Not something you're used to driving through. No, you don't, you have if you're in the sand, dirt, or gravel in a race car, you're in big trouble. Yeah, I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> the tires don't grip too well on that stuff. <laughs> and they don't have the advantage of going into the pits. They can't you know, change the tires halfway through, yeah. get a little bit of rest there. Yeah, or get some more gas. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> he needs some more gas. <laughs> or a power bar. That's something that I don't think many people know, that sometimes you do get those things inside the race car at a pit stop someone will hand you a power bar or energy bar or get you a bottle of water and you kind of got to do what a normal person would drive maybe not as fast <laughs> i'm used to driving in about 40 miles per hour having some mcdonald's on my way around there but you're going a little bit faster than yeah, yeah, absolutely well the races are so long you know you're talking 500 miles or four or five five hours in a race car you know at 110 percent so sometimes you just get hungry you gotta <laughs> eat you know you got to, that's plain and simple Great job, man. Rick's still That's going awesome. through here. He's got some more ladders left to go. Rick almost to the top of that ladder. That one's even, I think, more difficult than that one, even though that's a little bit thicker. That's still on the incline. So yeah. you're going up, up forward through, it looks like almost rings of wood or pipe. I can't tell if it's pipe or wood. Well, he's in the final stretch now. Looking good. Backward, forward. He's going to have to go backward, forward again, and then backward, forward again. And just absolutely insane. And he's got to be tired. <laughs> got to be tired. Backwards, and now Rick will go forwards again. This is his first time in the Super G. All three competitors that we've had thus far, it's their first time. And you can't blame them. That's a pretty darn good way to go if through your first time in Super G. Very good, very good job. What do they have to do to qualify for this? Uh, they, they run slalom earlier in the week, and the top times from the slalom that win the gold medals, they're not everyone that wins a gold, but they have a cutoff time as far as uh, what your time is. And then if you qualify for that, you get to run the Super G. I don't know if that's really a, a prize or a reward that you get to run the Super G because it's so difficult by the, by the time that you get done. It's the, actually the only, it's the only event that you have to qualify for here in the National Veterans Wheelchair Games. It's earlier in the week. And if it wasn't difficult enough, more steps for, for Rick to run through. He's almost done now. Home stretch. He'll get to go up and down the steps, raise the flag, salute the flag, and and wind down to the finish. And we're gonna have to, I wanna go before we let you go again, uh, Martin, just with the PVA, any plugs that you wanna do for the PVA or for Toyota? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's, it's a humbling place to be, you know, being around these guys, to see their uh, enthusiasm for this, this event and all it stands for. And uh, just wanna thank them, thank them for uh, letting me be a part of this. Thank all the veterans for uh, their support in our racing and uh, look forward to uh, watching some great stuff today. And we're almost towards the chase. We're on the back half of the, of the NASCAR season. Uh, 
where are you at as far as points are concerned? Well, we're going to need to win some races if we're going to get in, so we're working hard to do that with our Napa Toyota, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll win this weekend at Pocono just down the street. It's and, a new uh, point system, too. It is. Yeah, we're uh, if we're, we're right just outside the top 20, and uh, so we need to do some winning to get the wild card spot. So the opportunity for the two wild card spots there, and you know, something that you don't get to do very often, I'll let you take it away, go the rest of the way. You can do the play-by-play. -play. I'm sure that you hear a lot of people. You can probably re-watch a race and hear them talk about you. So talk about Rick the whole rest of the way. You're going to tell I'm going to come over here. All right, here we go. Rick just raising the flag. He's in the home stretch. He's got to go across this uh, plank, down the ramp. Here he comes. The crowd's cheering him on. He looks like he's running out of gas, but he's doing a good job. Coming across the plank. Riding a wheelie, no less. <laughs> Not sure how he's doing that. Here he comes, wheeling down the final ramp to the cheer of the crowd. Beautiful job, and he's done. 